Some of the technology that I am going to introduce you to in this video has the potential to completely revolutionize the modern battlefield. And this is technology that isn't centuries or even decades away. This is technology that is being field tested now. Things like tactical laser systems mounted to fighters, jetpacks for infantry, self-guided ammunition, telepathically controlled robots, visors that let you see through walls, and much more. If you have an interest in advanced technology and military equipment, make sure you stick around for all of the incredible things that we're going to go over in this video. But first, if you like cutting edge tech, then you'll probably also enjoy getting a cutting edge browser from our sponsor, Opera GX, where you can customize your browsing experience just like you can customize your firearm. And if you want to change everything about your browser with one click, you can enable GX mods and transform everything. Want your background music to be a little more relaxing? Do it. Ah yeah, isn't that better? Or maybe you want to have custom sounds whenever you type. Done. You can browse the GX mod store and get any type of modification you want, enabling and disabling every single element with the click of a button. And they have everything here, from custom themes, colors, wallpapers, backgrounds, and more. And if you're worried about performance, well, don't worry, because you can limit Opera GX's CPU and RAM usage, enhancing your gaming experience. If you don't believe me, well, here's a comparison between my own performance with Opera GX versus Chrome on my computer. And something that I've always personally loved about this browser is the ability to force dark mode on any website that I browse on. I got tired of my eyes burning out every time I pulled up Google, so now with Opera Dark Mode, I don't have to worry about my eyes dropping out of my skull. If you want to get Opera GX for yourself, click the link below. Now, jetpacks might seem like something straight out of science fiction, but the engineers at Gravity Industries have developed an incredibly promising prototype that is currently being field tested for both military and humanitarian applications. And unlike traditional aircraft, like airplanes or even helicopters, these tiny jet suits enable individuals to land virtually anywhere. And because of their small size, they can be loaded into anything, even small small vehicles, like a van or a Humvee. Additionally, their nimble maneuvering ability and significantly decreased rotor wash compared to something like a helicopter make them uniquely qualified for search and rescue missions in rough terrain. But I'd say the coolest thing about this device is if you have $2,000 to burn, you can go to their website and even book a flying lesson today, which makes it one of the only things in this video that you could actually try out for yourself. But something that is having an even bigger impact on the battlefield than jetpacks are drones. But when you think of drones, you probably think of something like this, or even something like this. But you probably don't think of something like this. This is an ATS drone, which is part of the Loyal Wingman program being developed by Boeing. And it is one of the first unmanned aerial vehicles with a fighter grade performance capability. And while you might be familiar with the Predator or even the Global Hawk class of drones, the ATS is built to operate as an autonomous wingman to a piloted fighter, not just as a remotely operated vehicle. However, the ATS program isn't the only unmanned drone that is changing the battlefield. The Switchblade 600 munition is a tube-launched autonomous vehicle that can be carried into the battlefield using just a backpack and launched by infantry. However, despite its small size, this UAV isn't just built for scouting enemy positions. This UAV includes an anti-armor warhead that can be used to take out armored targets designated by a remote operator. But the Switchblade 600 isn't the only type of self-guiding munition that's currently in development, as the engineers at DARPA have been developing a new type of munition that could instantly turn anyone into a seasoned marksman overnight, potentially eliminating the years of training that would typically be required to become an elite sharpshooter. The Extreme Accuracy Tasked Ordnance Program 
otherwise known as Exacto, is a prototype self-guided 50 caliber munition that can adjust its trajectory in real time to ensure that it always hits the target, regardless of whether the target moves or any other influences such as wind or weather influence its path. Not only is this something that would potentially turn any individual into an elite sniper overnight, but it can also help existing experienced snipers to always hit their target in what would otherwise be impossible environment conditions. Things like high winds, unpredictable target paths, or even firing a rifle from something like a helicopter can all now be effectively negated, allowing for long range kill shots that would have never before been possible, even by the most experienced sniper teams on the planet. But it won't matter how good of a marksman you are if every time you shoot at your target, your bullet explodes. And that's the point of reactive armor, a defensive technology that has now been in use for multiple decades and works by destroying the projectile before it's even able to enter the vehicle's hull. However, as new forms of munition are being invented, new forms of defense systems are being field tested that intercept munitions before they even reach the target. One such system is the Iron Fist Light Active Protection System being developed by General Dynamics. And the concept of this system is if you have a rocket that has been fired at you, well, the solution is to fire another rocket back. And the Iron Fist system does this by mounting a small turret that has the capability to detect and launch an intercepting projectile within a fraction of a second. But this technology is still significantly less bizarre than the plasma force field that was patented by Boeing in 2012, or the Iron Curtain system developed by DARPA that uses a classified technology to cut projectiles in half before they're even able to impact the vehicle. But what may be just as important as countering a rocket before it hits is knowing where that rocket was fired from. And if you ask any infantryman from any branch of the military, they will tell you how important situational awareness is. And this is the purpose behind the IVAS, or Integrated Visual Augmentation System, which is being developed by the United States Army to enhance the situational awareness of soldiers on the field. This system includes a visor that can be worn by any soldier and has a wide variety of technology embedded into it, including thermal vision, night vision, and most importantly, augmented reality overlays that can show you in real time the positions of both friendly forces and reported hostiles. This visor system could even allow you to see marked positions through walls or thick vegetation, giving anyone utilizing the system a significant situational awareness advantage. But it won't matter if you know where your enemy is if you can't even engage them because your firearm is broken. And this is one of the reasons that the concept of 3D on-site printing is becoming such a major focus in the armed forces. Ever since the beginning of armed conflict, logistics and repairs have played a critical role in maintaining any battlefield strategy, which is why many militaries of the world are now working to move the ability to manufacture new or replacement parts for critical equipment right to the front line. And with the ongoing innovation of 3D printing technology, this is now more possible than ever before, not only allowing the military to print replacement parts, but also manufacture components that can be used to create new munitions, such as this unit's creation of a custom-shaped charge, which can be utilized to take out things like doorways and walls. And as the technologies behind 3D printing continue to become more and more advanced, the number of things that can be manufactured on site will grow significantly, including automated systems that can even construct concrete bunkers without any human labor required. But 
Concrete bunkers won't help you if you have an army of telepathic super soldiers hunting you down. And that's an idea that the University of Sydney has been pursuing ever since a functioning prototype of a telepathic brain interface system was proven by Neuralink when they published the results of one of their experiments in mid-2021. And now, the University of Sydney is taking this concept even further by integrating similar brain interface systems with the controls for remotely operated vehicles. And while the capabilities of this early prototype application are limited, the concept of utilizing a brain interface to automatically control autonomous vehicles that are supporting a mission has infinite potential. And you can imagine how this interface could be utilized not only to control land-based robots for tasks like being point man, but could also be utilized in conjunction with other unmanned vehicles that we previously discussed even in this video, such as the ATS Loyal Wingman or even the Switchblade 600, eventually allowing individuals like fighter pilots or even infantrymen to telepathically mark targets that their drone squad members could automatically engage. And this concept of command and control brings us to one of the most important parts of any battlefield, which is the chain of command. This not only includes being able to reliably transmit and receive orders on an active battlefield, but also includes the process of being able to make informed decisions and adapt to changing situations. These are the kinds of problems that a wide variety of companies and branches of the military are trying to solve with battle management software. These battle management software applications not only allow commanders to see all of their friendly forces on the battlefield, but can also help automatically advise towards the best course of action for any given situation. And with how quickly modern technology is transforming the battlefield, quickly making high-level decisions is becoming even more important. Something that is now even more obvious with the introduction of the tactical airborne laser system being developed by Lockheed Martin. These laser weapons don't just have the ability to target other aircraft, but most importantly, they have the ability to target airborne munitions, such as anti-air missiles or even cruise missiles, which, given the rising concern regarding hypersonic weapon systems in the modern battlefield, these tactical laser systems might actually be the most effective countermeasure to some of these growing threats. And in addition to being able to mount these systems to aircraft, these tactical laser systems are also able to be mounted to a wide variety of other platforms, including ground vehicles and even naval vessels. If this technology continues to prove effective in field testing, it might just change the modern battlefield as we know it forever, not just targeting missiles and munitions, but also potentially taking out targets stationed in orbit, such as satellites. Did you enjoy this video? Do you think any of this technology will be effective? Let me know down in the comments, and of course, if you want to see more content like this, remember to subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.